Kolchik Tashia. Mickey is a partner at Foley and Lardner, and she's also a member of the Croatian Bar Association. I'm not in media, so you'll have to excuse me standing behind the podium. Dobar uh, večer. I'm very proud to be here on behalf of the Croatian American Association. For those of you who don't know what we are, we are an association of Croatian American attorneys and Croatian attorneys around the world. Um, the Bar Association uh, each year recognizes Croatian Americans who have excelled in the practice of law. Um, and to do that, the Bar Association has created an annual award called the Vinodolski Code Award, which is named after the famous Vinodol Code or the v Vinodolski Zakon, which was written in the year 1288 AD. Now, it is one of the oldest legal texts in Croatia and among the more important legal texts in medieval Europe because it was quite different from the generally governing Roman law. It was quite progressive for its time, uh, and included concepts that are frankly very commonplace today. For example, the prohibition of torture during legal proceedings and the protection of human rights generally, including, as uh, Representative Schakowsky noted, specifically a recognition of the rights of and moral integrity of women. So thank you, Croatia, 1288. That's very progressive. <laughs> It is quite fitting that Justice Belandic um, was voted by the Bar Association uh, as this year's recipient of the Vina Dole Code Award. Many of you, uh, you've heard many people uh, mention him this evening and he truly was uh, an outstanding uh, person here in the history of Illinois. In 1969, he was elected as alderman of Chicago's very powerful 11th Ward and became the chairman of the City Council uh, Finance Committee. In 1976, he was selected by the city council to serve as mayor. Uh, and in 1977, he was elected by the people of Chicago as mayor, where he served for two years. Among the current reminders of his great legacy as mayor is the beautiful jogging path that we all uh, enjoy along the lakefront, which uh, he spearheaded, and also the establishment of the first uh, Chicago Fest, which is the precursor to today's beloved Taste of Chicago. Following his term as mayor, Justice Belandic was elected to the Illinois Appellate Court in 1984 and to the Illinois Supreme Court in 1990, where he served until 2000. From 1994 to 1996, he was the Chief Justice of the Illinois Supreme Court, which is the highest judicial officer in the state of Illinois. Uh, he reviewed thousands of cases and authored over 225 very important opinions. After leaving a true legacy of greatness in public service, Justice Belandic passed away on January 16, 2002. But the late Justice Belandic was much more than merely the sum of his accomplishments. He was a man who never forget, forgot his humble roots, and his Croatian heritage was influential in his life, having attended St. Jerome's Croatian Catholic School during his childhood. Um, at a time when, peop when many people had not even heard of Croatia, he let everyone know how important it was to him. In a joint House resolution in the year 2003, House Speaker Michael Madigan and Sen Senator Emil Jones Jr. said, I quote, Michael and Anthony Belandic was one of the more influential and highly regarded public figures in Chicago. He was a man of commitment and a loyal Chicagoan. Most importantly, he was devoted to his family, faithful to his church, and proud of his Croatian heritage. His life story symbolizes one of the fundamental beliefs we all hold dear, that with vision, dedication, and sense of purpose, even a little boy whose parents came from the villages of Croatia can rise up to the highest levels of public service and affect positive change in society. He will be remembered not only for his great ambassadorship for Croatian Americans, but also for his dedication to all of the people of the state of Illinois. And we thank him very much. Here to accept uh, the award on behalf of the family of the late Michael, uh, Michael Belandic is his longtime law clerk, Jan uh, Botika Zekic. On behalf of Justice Belandic's family, his son Michael Morgan, his wife Heather, 
his sister Eleanor, his brother Steve and Nick, I thank you for this award. I had the privilege and honor to work for Justice Bolandic on the Illinois Supreme Court for eight years. I am grateful for the opportunity that he gave to this fellow Croatian and also for the wisdom that he bestowed upon me. During my tenure with Justice Bolandic, I witnessed his brilliance as a judge. He had a skill in crafting opinions that often dealt with very complicated issues and crafting them in such a way that the average person could understand them. I also witnessed his integrity, his honor, and his pride for his Croatian heritage. He was especially proud of his affiliation to St. Jerome Croatian Church and attributed his success in his life to the lessons learned early on from his immigrant parents and also from the nuns that taught him at St. Jerome School. Each year he took great pride in attending the August 15th Velika Gospa celebration on Princeton. And he often remarked to colleagues not to expect him in the office that day because he considered it Croatian Yom Kippur. <laughs> and for Judge Belanik not to show up in office was very rare because he had a very strong work ethic. Although he will always be remembered for his contributions and achievements, to the people of Chicago. During the last years on the bench, he was affectionately referred to by members of his staff as a Renaissance man due to his interest in photography and charcoal drawing. On behalf of the Belandic family and those of us who were fortunate to be part of his inner circle, I thank you for recognizing the achievements of Justice Belandic, a proud Croatian, a loyal Chicagoan, and a devoted family man. Thank you. Now we'll move on with the awards. John Vudapic is coming up, and he's the director of Croatian Day here in Chicago, and you'll announce some more awards tonight, John. Thank you, Anne. Dobar večer. Today's Plutter Awards ceremony is here to honor noble Croatian Americans who have made considerable contributions to our community. The Plutzer stone weave is a historic symbol, and it's left its mark on history. And just like the Plutzer, so many of these Croatian Americans have left their mark on history. Today's awards serves to honor all their accomplishments, and also just as importantly, it serves to, as an inspiration to the youth of our community, showing that they too can accomplish all these great feats, that they too beco can become the best athletes producers, entrepreneurs, artists, whatever it is that they, that they want and desire that they can accomplish because they can see this, that this is coming from our community. That being said, I'd like to introduce uh, the first award recipient. David Deal has done more before the age of 30 than a lot of us have done in a lifetime, especially if you play football. He's got a Super Bowl ring on his fingers. David Deal has always been proud of his Croatian roots and its history. You just ask him to lift off his sleeve, you can see the tattoo on his arm. Here to accept the award on his behalf is his mother, Darlene Deal. Darlene. When David realized he couldn't be here tonight, of course he called his mother and asked me to come and accept his award. <laughs> At first I hesitated, but then he added the line, Mom, just think about how excited Bubba will be there to see one of her grandchildren accept this award. So here I am, and there is his 95-year-old Bubba right over there. <laughs> I made one stipulation when I said I would accept this award. I told David he had to write what he wanted me to say. So please allow me to read what he has written. I am very proud of being a Croatian. I am equally being a proud as being a Chicagoan. To receive this award by making an impact on our community and to be recognized by the Croatian Embassy and the Croatian Consulate of Chicago is a true honor. Growing up on the South Side, you inherit a blue-collar work ethic. You do what is right, you are true to your word, and you do it all the time. Being a Croatian only instills this even more, along with being proud of your nationality, your values, and your tradition. 
You are taught to be loyal and always respectful of your parents, family, friends, and just as importantly, to your community. I can easily say that these are the traits that have made me successful today, not only in football, but in life. At a young age, I heard the quote, nothing is ever given to you, you have to go out and earn it. This quote has taken me through every aspect in my life on the road to the NFL. I am a proud alumni of the University of Illinois, where I received a bachelor's and a master's degree in my five years playing football. I was a fifth round draft pick in 2003 by the New York Giants. I have started 129 straight games. I have a Super Bowl ring, and this past year I played in the NFL All-Star Game. These may be great accomplishments, but I know that my parents' influence and my upbringing is what it has made it possible. The Croatian people know it is to persevere, to be dedicated, and to work hard. And because of this, this is what I have learned to live by. I am just as committed today as I was when I was a rookie, and I will continue to do this every day. I will never take for granted God's, my, the ability God has given me and will continue to take pride in my Croatian roots to strive to do the best that I can. There is much, boy, much more to being a member of society than to being a football player. I am a husband to my wonderful wife, Nicole, and the proud father of my three-year-old daughter, Addison. But playing football has also given me the opportunity and the responsibility to spend many hours doing charitable work in New Jersey and New York. I work with Project Sunshine, the charity I adopted three years ago. Project Sunshine is a nonprofit organization that provides free educational, recreational, and social programs to over 60,000 children a year facing medical challenges. When I spend time with these children and I see them smile, there is no better feeling in the world. Helping children has changed my life and has also taught me what has left me with a lasting impression that I will never forget. I would like to once again stress how honored and proud I am to receive this distinguished award, and I am sorry that I cannot be there with each of you in person. I may be a New York giant, I may live in New Jersey, but, my, but Chicago will always be my home, and I will always be proud of being Croatian. If you happen to see a Giants game this season, look for number 66 with the Gerb tattoo on his left arm. Thank you. And I like uh, the ambassador, Ms. Kolinda Gabra Katarovic, who will be honoring and presenting all the awards. Our next recipient also has uh, a proud NFL career, Ivan Jurkovic has played for the Green Bay Packers, the Cleveland Browns, and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Ivan has been a strong supporter of the Croatian community, and you can hear him now on ESPN Radio 1000. Ivan Jurkovic. Thank you, I love awards. That's what I'm all about. Uh, I want to uh, thank everybody for coming out tonight. Certainly do appreciate it. Um, I uh, accept this on behalf of all the Yurkoviches uh, everywhere. My ma's maiden name is Yurkovich. I know. Small village. Small village in Gabala, right on the river. They live four houses from each other. They're not related. I don't know how it works. We got relatives everywhere. We got them in Australia. We got them in Canada. We got them in Argentina. We got relatives everywhere. 60% of our family is still back in Croatia. And we got a ton of uh, Yurkovichs here uh, in Chicago, too. Nevenka, uh, you know, with a bunch of kids. We've all got kids. <laughs> you know, it's one thing Croatians do good. They make kids, don't they? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Everybody's got four or five. And there's, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, that's always a good thing. Uh, my parents came here. I, I'm going to be really short today. Uh, my parents left uh, the former Yugoslavia in 64. They went through, uh, you know, up to Austria. And they stayed on a farm for a little bit in Austria because they couldn't get to Germany where they finally wanted to go. Um, in Austria, they stayed at the farmhouse of this couple. They couldn't get to Germany 
that couple gave my parents and some of their uncles and cousins a car so they can get to Germany where they settled in Friedrichshafen. That's where my sister and I were born. They had my brother Mirko here uh, when they came to Chicago. But if it wasn't for the act of kindness that they received in Austria for a chance to get to Germany, they may never, never have made it here to the United States. So it was that act of kindness that my mom and dad always taught us, the kids, that you always open your hearts and open your homes to anybody. And they were always great with my friends and my buddies and their friends and relatives. Whenever they would host anything at their home, everybody was welcome. They never cooked just for the five of us. They always cooked for 10 or 12 because they always anticipated Ito, Dane, you know, one of the Pervans might be stopping by, Mate, my brother, you know, my, my uncle, Chido, who's famous in his own mind. <laughs>